Okay, so I am uh, Jen Pickering. I am um, one of the new co-editors for the sedimentary record, which is SEPM. It's one of the publications that it's had for actually quite a long time, like 23 or 24 years at this point. Um, last year, or I guess 2020, Lauren Bergenheyer was the um, editor. In December 2020, John Jung-Hyun Lee and myself, we took over as new editors and we underwent this sort of transformation of this journal. So we wanted to transform it to a short format, high impact, peer reviewed diamond open access journal. And that's the key for us is this is diamond open access. And that means that um, there are no fees for authors to publish and there are no fees for readers um, to access the articles. So it's society funded. So SCPM completely pays for it, but it's community driven, meaning you know, we do Twitter polls and that sort of thing, and we try to engage the community to um, sort of direct the, the journal. So we launched this renovation at the very start of 2021. So we're coming up on a year now. Um, and what we've done so far is we reduced the operating costs and secured funding through one of these SEPM, um, you know, an endowed fund that existed there. So we have funding to make to keep this a diamond open access journal secured for at least three years um, the operating costs are at this point so low though that it's likely it will you know continue on indefinitely um, we have sort of implemented this brand renovation so we have a new submission and a peer review platform which is called scholastica we have a new journal design um, and new article formats as well and historically TSR published four articles per year, so it was one article per issue and four issues per year. Um, and we have no limits on how many articles we'll publish. So far, we've we've published 12 this year. We have three currently in review or revision, um, and as many articles as people submit and the reviewers accept, that's what we'd like to be publishing. So for 2022, we are switching to a continuous publication model, so there are no deadlines. Um, and we'll do either one or two issues per year, depending on the volume that we get. Um, accepted manuscripts will be published immediately, so that'll be your publication date. Um, and that's the plan for 2022. Um, I'm telling you this today because the organizers here, um, Emma, Fabian, and Lillian, have proposed a special issue uh, for the Deepwater Research Group, a special issue that would go into TSR. So I'm just giving you, you know, the, the scoop on what's happening with us for that. So our, our submission platform, as I mentioned, is Scholastica. There's the website if anyone would like to check that out. We have um, two main types of scientific research articles. So we have research articles, which are you know, high quality, short format researcher review articles. We like these to be um, around 5,000 words or less, and that doesn't include um, captions or references, and something like five figures or tables. You'll notice the asterisks there. Um, we are not strict about this at all. We really just want authors to be as concise as they possibly can, and we can't let it creep up into the range of a long format journal because I think as most people have probably heard, there are efforts like Sedimentologica, which are longer format um, diamond open access journals, we want to stay distinct from them. So we are specifically short format, but it's not strict. Um, and then we also have these early research advances, which is a new thing we've tested out. We've published one of these so far. This is really geared at um, early career people or students, or if you have a study that is, you know, you've got some quality data that you want to share, but it's not really fully developed yet. Um, these do undergo peer review, but we state to the reviewers that they are in the early stages. So these are kind of meant to get feed, early feedback um, or as sort of like an update, like if you find a, a stratigraphic datum or something like that, that doesn't really warrant a full research article, but is something you want to get out to the community. We also do those. Um, we also do editorials, which are not peer reviewed um, and are kind of separate from that. Um, all of our articles are DOI linked. They're free to read and download. Um, right now they're at scpm.org slash the sedimentary record. But I think within the next few weeks, we're going to be migrating over to Scholastica as a, a platform to host. And that's just because they are, Scholastica has an integration with Google Scholar where they immediately get funneled into Google Scholar. And so 
you know, the articles themselves will get more sort of SEO internet traffic if we host them on Scholastica. So we'll be migrating to that. So the special issue that we're introducing here um, would most likely be hosted on Scholastica. Um, we've also got a Twitter, we're at the said record, and um, Rebecca Gramela sends out the SCPM updates newsletter each month. If you have any other questions about our new uh, format or future directions, you can feel free to email myself or John Kuhn. Our emails are listed there. Thanks for that, Jen. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to, to kind of showcase that. And um, building on that, like you mentioned, so one of the things that uh, Lillian, Emma, and myself have been talking um, with SCPM and said record about is trying to bring together and put together a, a, a series of, uh, of articles or a special publication focused on exactly some of the topics we're discussing today, kind of you know, creating a platform to start uh, publishing material on, yeah, the future of deep water sedimentology and stratigraphy. There's a lot, there's a pretty big kind of intersection that's now starting to happen with a lot of new avenues of research, a lot of new technologies as we'll discuss a bit today, um, and a lot more data collection and data creation. So we're kind of poised to actually, while there's a pretty, you know, a lot happening in the community, we, we, we want the opportunity to actually build a, a a, a nice special publication that kind of springboards a lot of the research we're seeing here today, a lot of the research that's being done by younger researchers um, starting in the field. Uh, it's a very different field um, to some extent than it was even a decade ago or 20, or not 20 decades, but 20 years ago. Um, and so we, we, we want, you know, to, to crowdsource the community on the interest of this, on the interest of these topics that we're hearing today and some of the next that we'll discuss in the the, the next uh, well the next iteration of this in the spring, and you know feel free to to email myself, Lily and Jen, Emma, um, and kind of you know propose topics, propose ideas for papers um, that would be helpful on that. I think there's a lot of interesting work, and we want to make sure that it gets out. And also, we kind of have a record on how you know we're proposing these conferences so that we can see the evolution of the work. So this allows us to start creating that benchmark. To, to see that, hey, yeah, the topics we're discussing one year get put together and published and built on the following year, right? This is something that the scientific community strives for, and um, it's we're, we're trying to do that with uh, with the topics here today as well. Um, so definitely don't hesitate to reach out to us um, and, and, and focus on th those opportunities as well. 